Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. Hey. We're pulling out for, with another load. Yep. We've had a crazy busy morning. We've been packing stuff, loading stuff, feeding animals. We no longer have a boar. We have a... He is a barrow. Yeah. Right? Castrate. Well, yeah, I guess it would be castrated. Yeah, he's castrated. We were talking about <clears throat> it and we need to get some more meat in the freezer. Yep. And he's giant and he isn't going to be servicing any more pigs till at least next year. And we're like, he's huge and he eats a lot. So it would make more sense. It's going to cost us more to keep him in. Then it would be to replace him. And we him. have to spend money on meat. So. Yeah. Oops, you're ringing. So anyway, we will be. Oh. We, I Ooh. told Jack I was going to turn the electric fence off. He's going to unhook it. Oh, wait. You better check it. <laughs> Let me do that real quick because he's probably getting shocked right now. Hang on. Yes? Not yet. I forgot. I'm going to do it right now. All right. Bye. Uh, this one. Oh, her feet are dirty. Not that one. This one. Okay. Got it. So, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm loving baby goats now. Baby goats. You've done lost me. You lost me. Oh, it's Florence. <laughs> They're ridiculous. And here's Owen. Hi, baby. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to put him in the freezer. We're going to give him a little while, a couple weeks, to make sure all the board taint leaves the system. And he heals up good. He heals up good, and he's healthy. I mean, he is healthy, but we'll make sure he heals up and all that. Then we will butcher him and put him in the freezer, and that will fill us. I mean, he's big, so that'll be a lot. Of He'll probably be 400 pounds in a couple yeah, of weeks, so we, we'll he's do, close. Yeah, we'll just do a lot of plain ground pork. We'll do some sausage, too, maybe a few yeah. cuts. Um, but the ground pork works well for ground beef. <laughs> so you run this excavator. Uh, and play some stuff like spaghetti and burritos and anything like that. So we'll just use pork yeah, for that. Yeah, ground pork works good We for really that. want to let our steers <clears throat> grow out more. Get one that's really big this fall to butcher and have all the cuts, and then we really need to sell the others. Some, um, you know, as halves, whole quarters, whatever, so we can make money on make the, the mortgage make, payment. Make, <laughs> yeah, make the new mortgage payment. So, but anyway, <clears throat> um, so yeah, we're gonna get ready here to load up and head out to the farm. Check what Kylie's got. Oh, there she you. has Solomon. Hey, Lead Solomon. The tame little peacock. He's cool. Look at his feathers. They're greening. They got green. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 he pooped. He almost splatted on me. Yeah. <laughs> e. e so. It's on his leg. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think he's, he's scared, Kylie. Yeah. Okay, I'm just he's kidding. He's very calm and he tame. He's very calm. So. All right. Well, let's head out, baby. All right. Sounds Everybody good. Everybody, load up. All right. All right, y'all. We're at the farm. We are getting ready to unload a bunch of lumber. Hmm. This gate is right in the way, isn't it, Jack? Yes, sir. Is it put on correctly or can we lift it off the hinges? Uh, uh, Mike put that one on evidently because it's on correctly. Some of the gates here are put on incorrectly so you can just pick them up off the hinges but not a big deal to fix those. So, uh, hmm, I guess I need to back in here farther don't I Jack? So, because the lumber, I mean y'all don't want to set the lumber over here. Jenna and I have to run, do some business in town uh, and then come back. So I'm going to have the dualies work on unloading this lumber and all the stuff that's not too heavy for them to unload. But let's see here, Jack. I mean, the lumber, we could stack the lumber here where your four wheeler's at. Yeah, just perpendicular to the four wheeler. Yeah, I mean, you've got plenty of room to move the four wheeler over. Yeah. Just pull it out because we're going to use it today. Okay. And we well, don't pull it out yet. Just pull it. Well, well, pull it right here. <clears throat> just park it right here mm -hmm. behind the trailer and uh because the hog scalder when i get back we'll back the trailer on through right. <clears throat> and set it out here are you gonna uh, remember me. we got our cooler here the other day well david was cutting the road in i can't remember what all we've told y'all we've had so much going on it's just been there's jenna she spotted me 
But uh, we've had so much going on, I can't even remember what all we've told y'all and kept y'all up with or what. The cooler's here. The hog scalder's gonna go out here near the cooler. Um, I still have to level the cooler some. It's mostly level, but it's not gonna be hard to, to fix that. And uh, we found out with that block in the middle of the cooler, right here, this round post, that the cooler door actually opens and closes like it's supposed yeah. to. Yeah, open it, it's, it's easy. Like, it actually just opens and closes. Oh, wow, I usually can't open that. I know. Nice. So, yep, it's really nice. So. Cool for the cooler. Cool for the cooler. All right, guess what? I'm gonna show you the view again, because I can't get over it. It is so beautiful. No, I still haven't actually had time to just stop and sit and take in the view. I did a little while yesterday from the roof of the pole barn when I was sitting up there drinking some milk. I think that's in some footage. You can just see me sitting on the edge. I was drinking my lunch, my raw milk, and uh, just looking out over the view. But I haven't seen the pole barn in person. I've only seen the I know. view they've seen of it. Yeah, we'll ride up there here in a minute. Yep. And, uh, but I told them the kids are going to unload. You and I are going to ride into town and uh take post care box. of some business at the post office and then get a new p.o box a new p.o box for everyone yes yeah. and uh then we're gonna come back here and check fences do some work. uh do some work put up some pig fence i'm wondering it looks like the guy who's leasing it i don't see any of his cows over there he's told me he was going to get them off yeah, he's um i've got to go check anyway it's not going to inhibit us from putting up our pig fence but uh it's pretty exciting uh we're going to show you what our plan is when we get over there and um hopefully i can get my truck i may have to bring the pole saw back to clear some roads before i drive the truck over but if not we'll take the four-wheeler and uh show y'all what the plan is for over here so it's pretty cool All right, y'all, we're over here where the old garden used to be years and years ago. The man that owned this. The man that owned this, I don't even know how many years ago. This was a garden. Obviously, it's been not kept probably eight years, I would guess, looking at how much things have grown up in here. No? Longer than that. Well, at least, I'd say. I think. Oh, yeah, because it Mine might. bought it in 2009 yeah. or 2008. So it's been a long time since this has been a garden. <laughs> so it was before that, yeah. And um, but probably um, fifteen years. Probably fifteen years, garden, yeah. yeah, yeah. So really long time. But we're gonna figure out how big we want our corn plot to be, and that's how much area we're gonna fence off, run our wire for the pigs, yep. and uh, run a area because we're gonna put the corn in here. Yeah, we'll let the. Pigs come in here and, and maybe melons. We might do a melon garden. I forgot down there. about that. Yeah, because, we need to make it big enough for yeah, corn and melons. We can do all of our like other our green beans and things that have to be tended to all the time up on the top. Yeah. But then down here we can do uh, the corn and the melons. They basically just need weeding. Yeah. But like. Uh, I don't know if you can see me in that. Yeah. Can you see Mama Emma? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, so let's walk around here and figure out how big of an area we think we need. We'll have Boring. Jack. You pull the truck down here and just back it into this hole. Yes, sir. Well, not well. Don't back it all the way in because we we might. Yeah, bring it in here. We'll see. Yeah. All right. 
This used well, obviously, to be we're spot. still undecided how this is going to work. But this is the first time we've been in this little spot. We haven't yeah. actually been in here, so it, it's there. You can see the old fence where we had it fenced off to keep his cows yeah, out. A little barbed wire fence. So we're going to uh, we're going to figure this out. So I've been feeding the cows in the barn for a few days now. Yes. I've got hay in here. They're munching on it. Acclimating them to coming into the barn. Yes. So that getting we them. Can getting them used to coming into the barn <laughs> but uh no we're gonna uh try to get some cows up in here caught tomorrow and start hauling cows we hauled a big load today checked fences um what else did we do my arm is tired i know we uh, wrestled my arms are tired we, from fighting mr pig we set up the pig fence so yep. we can get the pigs over there and we kind of tried to make somewhat of a plan for the rest of the getting everything there yep but, Anyway, so yeah, it's coming along. We're getting there. We are. We're making progress, and it's exciting. I think progress. Once we start moving animals, progress is going to really pick yeah. up. So. Yeah, we have to find that shift between when most of our belongings and the animals are there versus here, as to when we move the other camper, so we can start staying there. So yeah. we'll just have to see how that goes in the next. We have a week, so a week from today, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. So anyway. Y'all stick with us. Stick with us for this. And if you're not already subscribed, we'd love to have you subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time we publish a video. And if you give us a thumbs up, YouTube will know you're enjoying what you're watching. That was really dorky, wasn't it? <laughs> no. And, uh, and let's see, like this video and, oh, leave us a comment. I was like, there was something else. I lost yes. If you leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you and what you have going on. And we'll... And she's like... She's looking for her calf. Yeah. So anyway, we'll catch yeah. you guys next time. See y'all later.